I have overdosed on drugs on three occasions where I should have been dead. My friends would drive me home at two, three, four in the morning. We'd be drunk and high, laughing in the car. We'd pull up in front of my house in New York. They go, Mark, Mark, the light's on. I go, oh man, my mother's up. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi, Mark, how was your night? I go, it's good, mom, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I go, mom, I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I said, man, just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door on the one person who believed in me. I was on a worldwide tour and we were wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs in my hotel room and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at three o'clock in the morning. It was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and he said, Mark, you need to call home. There's been an emergency. Just say it. I said, Mark, your mother died. I just threw the phone down. I ran out of my hotel room and I walked down the middle of a street in Hiroshima, Japan. And I remember looking up and just saying, Mom, I am so sorry. I flew home for her funeral and I was so nervous to walk up to her casket, so I just stood way in the back. And I kept looking from a distance, I kept thinking to myself, Mom, please wake up, please get up. And then I finally got the nerve to walk up to her. And as I got closer, I could see my mom for the first time. I mean, she was so beautiful. She, she was dressed in white, I mean, she looked like an angel. And I just stood over and I said, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hope to be was because of you. You loved me so much. You gave me a life. You're the only one that ever believed in me. I wish I could talk to you now, Mom. Why couldn't I have been a better son? We are defined by our choices. But if you surround yourself with people involved in drugs and alcohol and pills, it's a dead end. If you have a mother or a father, when you go home, tell them how much you love them. See, I no longer live in time. I live in moments. See, it's not what's in your pocket that matters. It's what's in your heart that truly matters. Love, love is just a word until somebody comes along and gives it meaning. You. You're the meaning.